You're the Inquisitor. Mother never told me the Inquisitor was a mage. If you can sense magic, don't ever become a Templar. I can't. The lyrium gives me terrible nightmares. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on her hand, Mother? I did see. Tis time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? It would be... most unlikely. I have raised Kieran on my own for quite some time now, as was my preference from the start. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. There's something rather... unusual about him. There is. He is a special lad. It falls to me to protect him from anything and anyone that mean him ill. Most of all, he must be protected from myself. No one could harm him more than I. To think, until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. We were lucky to have found it when we did. Fate is often mistaken for luck, as Mother is fond of saying. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed. It is that he actually may.